as a 
joke because I know my fiance's mom snoops. Okay. I bought a house seven years ago and met my fiance Al four years ago. This year he moved in. We're talking about making it a home for both of us. But as of now, he hasn't moved much stuff in. Right now, 95% of the stuff and furniture in the house is mine. When his mom comes over, she's kind of a snoop. He was used to that. But when she comes to our house, it's so uncomfortable because she's just going through my shit. When I am bothered, she's like, I was just helping with chores, etc. He says I should just let her because she has a lot of nervous energy. One thing she snooped on was actually embarrassing. In my own, in my home office, I had a little affirmation posted note on my monitor saying, I am smart, I am skilled, I am deserving of great things. It was a silly thing. My therapist recommended me to get the Reddit recommend to get me in a confident mindset before an interview. Anyway, she made a comment to about my ego. Anyway, she made a comment to about my ego. But as a joke, I decided to do it again. I had my best friend over and we got wine drunk and wrote a bunch of affirmations to hide. Some were medicine cabinet, my teeth will regrow. I am, I am shark-like and powerful. Kitchen drawers, I know when to spoon, but I also know when to fork. I am sexy and self-assured. Work desk, I will not just fuck my way to the top of the company. I will fuck my way to the top of the world. Okay. Walk-in closet. I am beautiful with clothes and without, especially without, my boobs are legendary. There were a bunch more and my friend and I had a hilarious time writing them. Next time my mother-in-law came over, she saw a few. And she didn't acknowledge them to me even though she definitely started acting a little weird about me. I went to run some errands when I was out. She confronted Al about the notes and was trying to tell him that I seemed unstable. Eagles, eagles to eat. Wow, Naya, come on. Egotistical and moving in was a really bad idea. She showed him the notes and he didn't really know what to make of it. He asked me and I said that they were just some silly private notes to boost to boost my self-confidence and make myself laugh. How had she gotten them? Had she been going through my things? He said she was just tidying and saw them and they were real weird. I was like, have you met me? You shouldn't know how weird I am. You should know how weird I am. Anyway, if you don't want your mom seeing my weird shit, you got to stop letting her go through my shit. He asked if I left them on purpose to annoy her and I admitted that was kind of the joke, but I also have other weird or private shit. So what I said about her needing to stop snooping if she didn't want to find weird crap was still for real. He said I was making stuff hard for him. His mom was really protective and adjusting to him moving in with the girlfriend for the first time. And I was agitating her on purpose and making her think I wouldn't be a good partner when he wanted her to have the opposite impression of me. Am I the asshole for the note prank? Okay. So... This whole story is bugging me. Okay. I don't know they didn't mention in here if um the mother-in-law lives with them so i'm assuming she does because she's always having access to her home i don't know well she didn't state that so i'm not gonna no i'm not gonna assume that she didn't state that she said her fiance al moved in with her anyways um the mother-in-law or future mother-in-law is dead wrong okay just because you feel like that your son is marrying her you are not entitled to be going through her stuff like and i'm really afraid that she might be one of those mother-in-laws where she feels like okay so as soon as they get married she has every right to be in their business or she may feel like well if my son's marrying you your home is now his home which means it's also mine like there's people out there that really like like think like that like they're that possessive over their children and their lives so sad but um yeah, I, I actually found that kind of funny. Like, I personally would have left more detailed, gruesome, positive affirmations around the house that would have really had her shook. It's like, because you shouldn't be going through her stuff. Like, you don't pay the rent. You don't pay anything in there to be going around in her house freely. And me personally, by it being my house, I personally would 
would have told her. I would have told his mother, like, you can't do that. I wouldn't have left it to him because clearly he doesn't have the balls to tell her. Like, no. I would have said something like, you cannot be going through my office, my closet. You have no business in my closet. You have no business at all doing any of that. And so, and then for him to even, I feel like he was trying to side with his mother. And I really hate that, like, you're your own individual person. Like, I get it. Some people are brought up a certain way, but, like, you're you're about to marry her. And you're literally letting your mother intervene in certain aspects of your life already. I personally think that's a red flag. Like, I, I don't know if I would still want to marry you. And then at the end, right here, he had the nerve to talk about okay read, read what he said he said he said i was making stuff hard for him his mom was really protective and adjusting to him moving in with the girlfriend girlfriend that's the red flag boo i'm your fiance i am literally one step away from becoming your wife or literally planning a wedding and getting married and you still have the audacity to address me as your girlfriend after we were engaged i don't know me personally i think that's a red flag and like I said, it's none of the mother's business what she got going on in her home, around her home. Like, I just think that is so stupid. Like, if you're that worried about who your son is marrying, why didn't you make sure all of these things before they got engaged? Like, why didn't you have this type of dialogue with your son about her way before then? I just, I don't know. Is she the asshole to answer her question? Absolutely not. The brother-in-law is the asshole. And I hate to say it, but the fiance is the asshole too. Like, there's no way. There's just, there's just no way I'm putting up with that. That's just a huge red flag to me. But yeah, I shall move on. Okay, so this next story is by Lady Horse. And her story is called, Am I the asshole for not wanting my best friend to be my maid of honor anymore? Okay. I have a best friend of 17 years and six months ago asked if she wants to be my maid of honor and she said a big yes. Two weeks ago, we had a small gathering with the people who was a part of the wedding to finalize the wedding plans and that's when I got to know that she's six months pregnant. She didn't make an announcement during the gathering or look pregnant as she was wearing a baggy sweatshirt with jeans. Just that she was eating a lot and one of my bridesmaids teased her if she got a bun in the oven and she just laughed it off. Later during the gathering, the same bridesmaid teased her and saying, how amazing your food baby seems real, while rubbing my best friend's belly and only to realize that it's an actual baby bump. The crowd went crazy and congratulated her, but at that point I felt a little uneasy as how she will steal my thunder during the wedding since most 95% of my guests know her. She then thanked and told everyone that this gathering isn't about her, it's about me, and it will be the same during wedding. After the gathering, I called her and told her that I was upset how she didn't tell me about the pregnancy and how it would steal my thunder during my wedding. She told me that she only planned to tell about her pregnancy nearing to the end of the pregnancy itself and as of now, only her and her husband's family knows and the people who are at the gathering. She told me that her dress is not tight fitted and there will be a drape covering front of her dress and will not show the baby bump. And I don't have to worry because all focus will be on me since I'm the bride. I felt like she didn't know how I was feeling since she didn't have a wedding like mine. Hers just a small solemnization with a high tea and it was a quick one as she always liked it close and intimate ceremony. I told her that I don't want her in the wedding as she will steal the show and will definitely look very pregnant walking down the aisle. She might not be able to run her maid of honor duties. She told me it's fine and she's just attend as a guest but told her not to eat, told her not even the wedding and I don't think I'm invited anymore. Wait, sorry. She told me it's fine and she's just attend as a guest but told her not even the wedding. I don't think I'm inviting her anymore. She told it's fine by her so she can get rested before bursting. We both hung up. The following day, a few of my bridesmaids told me that they don't want to be a part of the wedding after knowing that I uninvited my best friend. I got so furious and asked my best friend why she told everyone that she's uninvited. And she told me, if you think I told everyone that you uninvited me just because you think I will steal your thunder since I'm pregnant, you're just kidding yourself. They got to know since I met them to plan a surprise in night for you since I won't be in the wedding but 
it seems like you don't deserve any kind of surprises. I feel like she's just creating stories and stirring shits about me. Now, most of my bridesmaids won't be a part of my wedding and they're calling me a selfish, mean bitch just because I don't want her to steal my thunder. Am I really the asshole? Yes. Okay, right off the bat, you are an asshole. First off, it's your wedding day, okay? The, the light is already going to be on you. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than just one pregnant person at your wedding. Like, people bring, you know how, like, you go to weddings and people bring, like, one plus plus ones or whatever. How you going to tell a woman who's pregnant, pregnant, a natural thing, that she can't come to your wedding because you're scared she's going to steal your thunder? Like, it's one thing to be like, you can't be in it, but you can't even be a guest because you're pregnant. You are, you are not a good friend. I'm sorry. That is just so ugly to me. Like, it ain't like she gonna be there. People gonna be like, it's not like she's having a whole baby shower at your wedding. Like, no. And she even had enough kindness, which I personally think is, it was unnecessary to get a dress that like hides herself. That's so stupid to me. She's pregnant. It's a beautiful thing. It's a normal thing. I can literally leave my house and probably see like 12 pregnant people. Like, you're making it weird. Like... I don't know, but the, yeah, the bridesmaids at the end are very valid on not wanting to be in the wedding at all either because that's just stupid. Like, no, you're calling her your best friend. You should be, yeah, maybe, okay, so maybe she's salty because she's her best friend and didn't find out that she was pregnant until that day, six months. Six months is kind of long to go without telling your best friend that she's pregnant. That is pretty long, so maybe that's the reason. I mean, she didn't state that in the story, but like that's what I'm assuming, you know. But either way, she's the asshole. She's she's just pregnant. Like, it's not like she's asking you to come in like a bright red dress or a bright pink dress or or asking to get proposed to during your wedding. No, she's she's just existing as a pregnant woman that should just be allowed to exist as a pregnant woman without any of this drama i'm sorry that's enough for me to stop being a person's friend listen i don't have patience for this type of stuff like this is goofy behavior like no i'm not dealing with that and then she's nice enough to still throw her i think she's still like a, i don't know what this is um they got to know since i met them to plan a surprise hen night for you since i won't be at the wedding i don't know what a hen night is but i'm guessing some type of like festive function like even after all that you've literally been told you can't be in the wedding matter of fact you can't come to my wedding and you still out of the kindness of your heart plan something for her and then you want to accuse her of telling people that you told her you couldn't be in her wedding even though you did like there's no accusation you did you told her she couldn't come we wouldn't be friends anymore no ma'am you gotta go i wish you all the luck with you and your new boo but like me and you through all oh, bars <laughs> this is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoy video of me reading you am i the asshole from the reddit 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 app if you guys really enjoy this let me know down below like if you guys want me to start this as like an actual series like i did the spooky scary stories videos then definitely let me know down below i don't mind at all i actually really enjoyed reading them stories okay they were juicy and people are crazy okay people are crazy but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram.